Hey everyone, long time no see. Yes, I'm still alive and doing well. So a lot of people ask me when I'm going to be posting a new video. It's just been super busy now that my lawn season has started. It's been really hard to actually make a video since I'm teaching as well as lawn cutting. So anyway, uh, today it's the 25th of May. It's hailing outside. There's my little guinea pigs. Hey. Haley. So I thought I should give you an update on what's been happening with uh, my collection of teas since everyone's been asking me to make a video of them. Well, I'm going to be making a tour video. I, I know I did promise I was going to make one, but, you know, things come up. So, anyway, the first thing I want to show you is one of my teas is freshly molted is uh, my Lampra Palma Valisiopis, the Singapore Violet. Actually starting to get a lot of color now uh, since her mold. She's about two and a half inches now. If I can find her. Oh, there she is. As you can probably see, uh, you can't see the blue legs over here. So it's still good in her tall dudley cup. I mean, it's amazing for uh, these arboreal species. Yeah, so she molted a couple of days ago. So that's a good sign. Now, this one here, freshly molted too, is Wendy, my grandma's solo poker peas. Choco Goldeny. She certainly has grown bigger since the last time you saw her. This is a confirmed female. Yeah, right now she looks about peaches size, around four and a half. Yeah, no, four inches is probably a likely better estimate of her. I mean, it's a really good old tea. I like these uh, Grandma Solas. I mean, she's just so cool. And this is how tarantulas molt. Usually they'll make a web bed and then they'll just turn upside down and spend a couple of hours on their back, let's say like two or three hours and then they'll start pulling themselves out of their own body. So she had a successful molt, so that's pretty cool. And the Piesa Resistance has actually got a new spider and the best thing is I did not have to pay for it. Well, I was out mowing lawns uh, for one of my clients house and I noticed on uh, the wall a jumping spider. And right away I knew this was a Photopus uh, species. Ah, oh, it's actually outside right now. So luckily I caught this one. Uh, this is a mature male and I'm not sure what kind of species this must be. Uh, I think this could be a Photopus Audox. I don't think it's a Regius because it would have been real cool if it was a Regius. So I can mate with my female. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see him. I'm just going to... Oh, there he is. Look at him. A very, very nice find. Okay, let me just uh, zoom in for you. So you can see what he looks like. Yeah. With Adox and Photopus males are really, really hard to tell apart because, you know, they just look too similar. But you can see uh, he is a mature male. He has his bulbous palps, and I don't think he has, he doesn't have his typical hooks, but you can tell by most males of the Photopus genus, they're kind of a blackish color, and they have like a metallic sheen on their chlorus cirri. So yeah, he's not coming out very well, but anyway, there he is. Very, very nice find, and I didn't even have a deli cup, so I thought to myself, okay, I kind of uh, did some thinking, and I found that I had one of my water bottles, and I just uh, caught one, uh, put it in my truck, and then straight home right away, put it into this, uh, del uh, this deli cup, and... 
there we go. So like, very cool. So this is definitely a Phytopus species, and I'm not sure if this is an Odox, which likely to be assumed it is, but it was a pretty cool find, and it's not likely I see uh, these jumping spiders all the time, even though that one they're one of the more common spiders that you see, but yeah, that's cool. And I think that's pretty much it. So, like, uh, I know it's been super late on the uploads. I know I've been very, very busy. Um, I'm actually going to be posting a tour uh, probably this week uh, when I'm not uh, too busy with teaching and my lawn service. So, ah, looks like I got another molt. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is kind of fresh. This is my Vicularia Leita, which is the Puerto Rican pink toe. A pleasant surprise since I wasn't expecting her to molt. Yeah, she looks, uh, she is a confirmed female, that I know. Uh, because I think last year when she was about two inches, I saw her making a phantom egg sac, which was an exciting moment to see. And then, I think a lot of people will request it to see my P. Metallica, since I haven't featured my female in a while. So let's go have a look at her. I am expecting her to molt anytime soon. Uh, yeah, she's been a while. Yeah, it's hard to see. But, uh, there she is. She's ran five inches. I had her for a good four years and she was about a half an inch spiraling and she's around four or five inches not full grown yet so I can't wait to see how well she's going to be up and then of course Gretel my tea stir me and there's my new Hanamavila Samika the one I purchased, and there's Zafina. It's my other one. Yeah, she looks. Uh, she just recently molted too, so that's good. <laughs> P. fasciata, Sri Lankan ornamental. Finally, a female. She must have molted. Oh yeah, she did. Sweet. Look at that. Pokemolt. Awesome. I'm very, very happy. Very, very happy. My T. Gigas Brewer, which uh, is pretty normal for the species. So, uh, sorry for the late uploads, guys. I know I'll be posting some more videos to come. I'm just going to be buying some crickets, and we'll be feeding all of these nice true spiders and tarantulas for this coming week's uh, tarantula feeding video 116. So, sorry guys for the late updates. I'm alive and doing well, and I'll start posting more videos as soon as I'm not too, too busy. But. There we go. All right, everyone. Enjoy.